Okay, question 8a. Given that u is equal to 2 to the power x, we want to write down du by dx for one mark. So, this is one that we need to remember. We are not given it in the formula sheet. If y is equal to a to the power x, and then dy by dx is equal to uh, log a times a to the power x. So if we apply this here, uh, if u equals 2 to the power x, and then du by the x is equal to log of 2 times 2 to the power x. Okay, and now for part B, which is six marks. So the first really fun question on this paper, we want to find the exact value of the integral between zero and one of two to the power x times root three add two to the power x with respect to x. So part A has led us into part B and gave us a clue as to what to start doing here. So we're going to need to use substitution. So we are going to let u equal to to the power x. And then we also know that du by dx from part a is log 2 2 to the power x. Now from this we can find what dx is with respect to du and u itself. So, we can get du is log 2 to the power x times dx. Therefore, uh, dx is du over log 2 2 to the power x. Okay, so at this point we know what u is in terms of x. We know what dx is in terms of du and u. The other thing we need to do is change the limits of the integral. 0 and 1 are in terms of x. So we need to find the values of u. So, when, uh, let's go down here. So when, well remember, u is 2 to the power x. So when x is 0, u is equal to 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. And when x is 1, u is equal to 2. So, our integral, let's do it on the next page. Our integral then, 
which was the integral from 0 to 1 to the power x root 3 add 2 to the power x with respect to x is now the integral between 1 and 2 of u times root 3 add u uh, well, and then dx was uh, so dx is du over log 2 2 to the power x so we get du over log 2 times 2 to the power x, but remember 2 to the power x is u. So we get a nice cancellation here. The u's cancel out and we've got a constant of 1 over log to the integral between 1 and 2 so the u's cancel out the u at the start of the integral and the u beneath the du and we are left with root 3 plus u with respect to u Okay, so at this point, it's actually probably nicer to write that in powerful. So that's 3 plus u to the power of a half with respect to u. So now we need to integrate 3 plus u to the power of 1 half. Then we could use substitution again. We could actually have used a different substitution at the start. u equals 3 plus 2 to the power x. That would have made this bit easier. Uh, but it's not really that tricky. There's nothing funny going on with the u inside of the bracket. It's not got a number multiplying it. And it's not got a power other than one. So if we just take this down here for a second, the integral of three plus u to the power of one half with respect to u is just going to equal well we know the power of the bracket is going to go up by 1 so that's going to go 3 plus u to the 3 halves and then the constant at the start is just going to be the reciprocal of 3 halves which is 2 thirds and then of course we're going to have our lovely plus c However, we don't need that up above because we are doing a definite integral. But the integral of 3 plus u to the power of a half is 2 thirds 3 plus u to the power of 3 halves. Cool. So, back up here then. We are going to get... Uh, 1 over log 2 times 2 thirds and then our result from the integral 3 plus u to 
to the three halves between two and one. Okay. So one over log two times two thirds is two over three log two. So we're gonna get that times uh well it's gonna be three add two to the three halves so that's five to the three halves minus three add one to the three halves so that's four to the three halves At this point, it would be fine to get your calculator out to sort out the numbers in the bracket. Not my style though. So this is equal to 2 over 3 log 2. 5 to the 3 halves means 5 cubed square rooted. So 5 cubed is 125. The square root of 125 is uh, root 25, root 5, so that's going to be 5 root 5, and then minus 4 cubed square rooted, 4 cubed is 64, square rooted is 8. So that handsome little chap there is our solution in exact form. That's it for that question. Good times.